Good evening, agents. This LP of No One Left Forever will self-destruct in 18 minutes. Stay alert. There's been some trouble upstairs. What kind of trouble? Spy trouble. How do you know? That's just what they told me. I'd like to see a spy try to get in here. Well, make sure you're ready just in case one does. I kind of have to sit here and wonder, um... I mean... What kind of other trouble would these guys be expecting than spy trouble? Uh, rat trouble? Wild pest trouble? Anyway, we've finally broken into the Harm Bunker in North America where we believe they're keeping Dr. Schenker. And, uh, well, Dr. Schenker is quite crucial to our operations to stop Harm, so uh, it's definitely in our best interest to try and track him down. This mission has a good chunk of dialogue in it, so, uh, well, and the stealth is kind of difficult, so there may be one or two edits you'll see here and there, because, uh, yeah. Anyway, some of the dialogue in this mission is fantastic, so I'm definitely going to do my best to capture it. Also, something I learned today is that in the Lithic engine, these, uh, these, uh, staircase bars, they are solid textures. They, uh, there is no, no space between them. So one of the other gadgets the game tries to give you on this level, and I believe it's one that I passed up in favor of something else, but I can't recall what, is um, the cigarette lighter. And as it turns out, you do need the cigarette lighter because, uh, well, something that'll happen a bit later. But luckily, as always, the game handily provides you with one when you need it. I'll go ahead and make use of this uh, camera disabler. Because uh, we will be coming in and out of this room uh, once or twice. Red 59 Edsel. Remember that. It's important. But yeah, we'll be coming in and out of this room a couple times, so it's very important that we, uh, you know, not get caught by the camera. Shipping out. Tomorrow afternoon. What's in these crates anyway? I don't know. Supplies? Could be. You don't know? No, I don't. How is that possible? The stuff arrives in these crates. I check and make sure everything's accounted for. And then either it goes downstairs or we ship it to the tropics. What's inside is none of my business. If they wanted me to know, they'd label the crates. <clears throat> You've never peeked? Why would I? Who goes there? Aren't you the least bit curious? No, I'm not. Not even a little bit? Maybe a little. Let's open one. No way, pal! Ah, come on. Forget <laughs> it! Please? Ah, what the heck? National Geographic magazine? That's unexpected. Critical supplies. So yeah, cigarette lighter. You need that to burn off this padlock to get in here. And inside here is something, uh, it's a pass card we'll need to grab. Handy dandy, this also has the, uh, button for the cameras. So now we no longer have to worry about cameras setting off the alarm, we found our security pass, and now we just have to, uh, well, clean house. I can't want to tell that lady she's in the way, but I don't want to be rude about it.
Oh well, I tried. I believe there's one more guard cruising around here somewhere, at least. But uh, I could be mistaken. If not, we'll probably find him sooner or later. Oh, yep, found him. Anyway, with all of that stuff in hand, we're ready to move down to the next level. Uh, use security pass here, and you're good to go. It is not. It is too. 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 It is not. It is... Ah, hell, I can't even remember what we were talking about. Me neither. Uh, truce? Truce. Joke's on them. It is not. So, uh, coming up... I'm going to have a cut for two conversations, and that's because the third conversation, which will be occurring shortly afterwards, um, well, it causes something of an alarm. Because reasons. So, I'm going to make a quick cut here, and I'll see you on the other side. Your brother-in-law still uh, looking for a carpenter? I think so. Why? I'm thinking about quitting. Seriously? Yep. I'll go. I'm sick of being a bad guy. What would my mother think? You know, she saved up for 16 years to put me through college. My dad used to give her a weekly allowance and she'd always stash a little away. Well, that's impressive. But I thought you didn't go to college. I didn't. I talked her into giving me the money instead. What'd you do with it? First thing I did was buy a 59 Edsel. Ooh, bad call. What are you talking about? It's a great car. I think purrs like a kitten at 90 miles per hour. Hell, I can get her up to 120 without breaking a sweat. Really? But I thought Edsel's bombed. They didn't meet sales expectations, but Ford still sold over 100,000 of them. You're kidding. No, I mean it. A car doesn't have to sell a million units to be successful. It's all about projections. Fortunately, the Edsel didn't sell as well as Ford expected, but it definitely sold. If you ask me, it was just bad timing. It was a recession, and people were looking for more economical cars. Wow, I never realized. Just goes to show you how the press can twist things around. Thanks, Obama. You mean that raw fish stuff? Hell no. Now that's what I figured, too, but my uh, girlfriend talked me into trying it the other night. Uh, it was really good. No thanks, I don't even like cooked fish. That's the thing, it wasn't fishy at all. At least the stuff I tried. Uh, we had tuna, yellowtail, uh, squid, uh, some other stuff. Ugh. I'm telling you, you ought to at least give it a try. Not on your life, pal. You're missing out. Oh well, more for you, right? You bet your life. And we're back. You can't expect the solution to react without a catalyst. There is a catalyst. That's not the problem. Are you sure your proportions are correct? Positive. I measured everything twice. You included all the ingredients? Yes, yes! Even the sodium nitrate? Oh, damn. I, I forgot about that. I kind of an idiot forgets the sodium nitrate. Anyway, that sets off an alarm because a camera blew up, and uh, because the alarm was set off, apparently all the guards now know where we are because reasons. I'm pretty 
sure you can interrupt that conversation and so avoid this alarm, but, uh... Well, didn't happen this time. Either way, there's, uh, there's not actually too much of interest to grab in this upper level. Um, I think there's a piece of intel somewhere? I know if it's here, I'll pick it up. But, uh, there is actually a secret item. Much like a few levels ago, I picked up the, uh, bandages. And, uh, the bandages are used to stop or, well, lessen, uh, bleeding damage from dum-dum rounds. Um... Uh, another item I talked about a few videos ago, which somebody helpfully reminded me, the earplugs. Uh, they reduce damage from uh, explosive rounds, which we haven't seen explosive rounds yet, but they come up. And uh, in here is the bunny slippers. Now I can't pick them up because I'm currently using them, but the uh, bunny slippers actually reduce the noise you make while you're running around and stealthing. And uh, they're pretty good. I used these for safe cracker. It was, uh, it was a thing. It was great. I know there are... I believe there's two other special items in the game. Uh, one of which is the fire extinguisher, which reduces damage from phosphorus rounds. Uh, you get that by crossing the minefield way back in... Uh, way back in uh, Morocco, the first mission. And then um, there's one other. I'm not sure what it is. I'm not actually sure where it is, but I'm pretty sure it reduces damage from cyanide rounds. Yeah, I know it. I know it's somewhere. Yeah. Anyway, uh, yeah. So inside this area is where they had their little uh, sodium nitrate issue. You can see these two scientists got a little uh, blown away. And uh, yeah, so that explosion blew up that camera. And uh, I think if the explosion went off by itself, it wouldn't have been a problem. The problem is uh, when the camera got involved. Anytime a camera is destroyed, even if they're turned off, apparently, or nobody's nobody's monitoring them, um, apparently it just sets off the alarm. Which, sure, I guess, why not? I mean, the alarm's already been set off. There's not too much more point in me being quiet, is there? fall out of the plane without a parachute. Oh, that. Well, someone loaned me one on the way down. Very generous of them. Anyway, I thought I'd drop by and see if you'd like to get out of here. I would indeed. If I had known I'd end up in a place like this, I never would have left Berlin. But I suppose that was part of the plan. What do you mean? It seems we have been carefully manipulated by harm all along. My decision to defect and your organization's decision to aid me were part of an intricate scheme. I have overheard my captors discussing the matter. Harm wanted my research, but they didn't want to draw attention to themselves in order to get it. So they let us do the dirty work? Precisely. I was approached by one of their agents, who filled my head with tantalizing stories of the West and the freedom I would find there should I defect. He took care of the arrangements, knowing full well that I would end up here. Ingenious. Their only mistake was to underestimate us. And so we found Dr. Shanker. There's another door breaker here in case you need it. And, uh... A little bit of an issue with the sodium nitrates. And apparently have been contaminated by rodent droppings, which, uh... I mean, I guess maybe that should uh, go to show you. Don't mix rat dropping and chemistry. It's gonna go poorly for everybody involved. So, uh, how you doing, Doc? Long time no see. Yep. Just waiting on the door. Mm -hmm. 
Nice. No, there we go. So for some reason, they uh, have an indoor lightning room. I'm not sure what, how to describe this, but uh, every once in a while, lightning will cascade down from the ceiling and hit these metal plates. And uh, you don't want to be there when it does. There's also a guard patrolling around here who completely catches me off guard. Because I expected him to be somewhere else. You can tell I was surprised because of that little jerk. Hey, Doc, it's okay. We're fine. I want to say every time Dr. Schenker hears a uh, gunfire close by, he gets a little, uh, he gets a little panicky, and uh, he won't always move for you. But uh, he does have pretty good pathing when it comes to the uh, when it comes to the lightning room. So luckily, you don't have to worry about him uh, getting caught in a lightning storm, for the most part. No chili eating contest. Jeez, how terrible is this? Jeez, and they said morale and harm organization was good. How can you have morale without a chili eating contest? Anyway, with the. Uh with all the guys on the way down, we're pretty much home free. So, please join me next time.